Uh, if the Trump administration requests it, would the Massachusetts State Police assist in mass deportations? No, ab absolutely not. But, you know, let, let me say this. Um, I do think it's important that we all recognize that there's going to be a lot of pressure on states and state officials. And I can assure you, we're going to work really hard to deliver. Um, some, some realities also need to be, you know, uh, noted, and that is in 2016, we had a very different situation in the courts. And uh, while I'm sure there may be litigation ahead, you know, there's a lot of other ways that people are going to, to act and need to act uh, for the sake of their states and, and their residents. There's regulatory authority and executive powers and, and the like. Uh, there's legislation also within our states. So I think that the key here is that you know, every tool in the toolbox has got to be used to protect our citizens, to protect our residents, and protect our states, and certainly to hold the line on democracy and the rule of law as a, as a basic principle, right? 